What is going on YouTube? Lamont on the run. And today we're gonna go into Schnucks. I'm coming in here to get a little bit of a shrimp pasta. I think that's what it is. And today we're going to talk about a story I read online that I was thinking maybe some of you guys might find a little bit interesting. <laughs> Something must be funny over there. Anyways, so we're gonna to go to Florida, the Orlando area in Florida. And uh, we're talking today about the story of a underage girl who was working at a Orlando-based strip club when she was 15. Oh boy, this is not good. Well, at least it wasn't good for, well, who wasn't it good for? Let me see, I guess her. That's not good, you're 15 years old and you're already stripping? Well, let me explain what happened. So, just last week, uh, one owner and three managers of the Flash Dance Strip Club in Orlando were all arrested and they were charged, they were all charged with one count of human trafficking for commercial sexual activity of a child under the age of 18. Now, I'll break it down to you quickly what happened. So, uh, apparently in 2019, this girl was 15 years old and went to the club to apply for a job. And normally, because I used to work at a strip club, normally they're very, very strict on uh, IDs and being of age and all this and that. Now, apparently, I guess she needed money to take care of her mom. And I really don't know if she told them or not whether she was underage but they allowed her to work without producing any kind of uh, identification, any kind of uh, social security card. I mean, I'm pretty sure they all knew that she was underage. So she worked there from 2019 to 2021. <laughs> and the only reason why she got caught is because she couldn't keep her mouth shut. So she gets off of work one night and I guess somebody had drove her home or was driving her home and she didn't have any taillights on. So the police pulled her over for a traffic infraction and they see this, what looks to be a girl with somebody else in the car and they asked her for her ID and she said she didn't have ID but she gave them her, her real name but she gave them a fake birth date now I guess that it's not coming up with or matching her name and her birth date and then they're saying well why are you leaving a strip club and come to find out she I guess that is how she told or this is how it all got found out is she told the police that she works at the strip club and then they found out what her real age was so they started an investigation and it took a couple years, but finally, finally justice was served in this case because uh, what's their faces were arrested. Well, William Syrer, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name. He's the owner. And then you have uh, actually no. Well, one of them is the owner, Paul the Valley. Jonathan Johnson and Kimberly Sinclair. I forgot which one was the owner. It's the older guy. So I'm sure they're all out of jail now. I'm sure they all bailed out. And uh, the police, the police say in a press release that investigators believe they allowed the team to quote, uh, to conduct sexually explicit performances in order to arouse or satisfy the sexual desires of its customers. <laughs> yeah, I, I pretty much believe that's how a strip club works. Uh, you go there, you look, but you can't touch most of the time. And then you go home and you see your wife or your husband and then you realize what's going on and then you go back to the strip club. I'm sure women do it too, right? You go to strip clubs for for women 
Uh, the doors aren't really a thing, though. I mean, you'll have some performances, I guess, in strip clubs where a guy... But, yeah, it's not a real thing. It's it's really just a bunch of horn dogs going to uh, a place where they can't, you know, touch, but they can look most of the time, depending on where you go. Uh, me, personally, I think strip clubs are the absolute biggest, absolute ripoffs uh, next to timeshares in the nation. Oh, but um, I tell you, I'll tell you a... a funny story uh really quickly so i'm in las vegas and there's a strip club called chicas bonitas and me and my friend we were really bored one night so we said uh, let's go to this club and whatever so we're going and chicas bonitas is like a really low-end low-budget strip bar it's not even a strip club. It's just a strip bar. They got a bar. They got a little stage. They can dance. They get topless or whatever. And I, well, you know what? I'm going to save this story for another time. Yeah, because I think it'd be a separate video if I got nothing to talk about. So you might want to subscribe to my channel. I'll tell you a really interesting story later on down the road. Hell, maybe when I go to Las Vegas, I'll do a, uh, maybe I'll do a location video or whatever. Anyways, guys, I got to go. I got to go get this uh, shrimp uh, boom boom pasta, whatever. Uh, I will catch up with you later. Have a good one. Peace out.